So in last lecture we discussed about the internal registers with their names like A, B, C, D and the program counter register which is used, this is program counter register which is used to point the next memory location which is has which has to be fetched. Then there is an arithmetic and logical unit. Apart from this we discussed about the programming languages like uh, uh, machine dependent language and machine independent language. Machine dependent languages are uh, assembly languages and uh, machine language which are basically based on the internal architecture of a processor and uh, machine independent language is a high level language and example is C. Now in today's lecture we will discuss one, one very simple task. Suppose we want to add two numbers. How to add those two numbers and how to write a program. Now, since this is our one general purpose, general processor, and in this processor, uh, let us assume that, let us assume that 1000111 in hexadecimal, this is 1001 is 8 and 1001. 1111 is F. This is this binary pattern is used for adding content of A with content of B. Now suppose we want to bring some 8 bit number in A register. For that there is another binary pattern and let us assume that is 11101111 let us use this number so in hexadecimal what is the value what is the meaning of this 1110 means 8 4 12 and 113 13 means a b c d so this is 1110 is d and 1111 is f so this binary pattern is used to bring some 8 bit number in A register 8 bit number in A register now another binary pattern 1110 what is the meaning of this again 1110 is B 1110 one 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 zero eight four two. This is one 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 zero is not D. This is F. And this is E. This is E. Right. So this is E and one 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 zero is E. Right. And let us assume when this pattern enters in this processor, then it will bring some eight bit number in B register. Eight bit number in B register and another binary pattern 11111111 this means F F in hexadecimal this means stop or halt right the meaning of this <coughs> now I have taken just uh, one example right uh, maybe some in some processor, the binary pattern this may have some different meaning, right? Okay. Now, the designer of this processor has given the meaning, the mnemonic for this binary pattern. The mnemonic is, uh, it wants, uh, with this we want to add content of A with content of B. Then this, this is add A comma B. And the mnemonic for this where we want to bring some 8 bit number in A is M V I A comma 8 bit number right so mnemonic for this binary pattern is M V I A so whenever this binary pattern enters in the processor in the decoder unit then with this binary pattern the processor will come to know that I have to bring some 8-bit number in A register and that 8-bit number 
will come next. So mnemonic for this, uh, this binary pattern will perform, it will move some 8 bit number in B. So they have given the mnemonic for this binary pattern as M V I A comma 8 bit. The meaning of this is stop. For this they have given the mnemonic HLT. So here these are English like words. But MVI, what is the meaning of MVI? MV, MVI. There is no particular meaning of MVI in dictionary. But this is English like word. We can understand from MVI that move immediate number. Move immediate number. Immediate 8 bit number in A. MVI. This is B. MVI B. Move immediate 8 bit number in B register. HLT. There is no meaning of HLT in an English dictionary. But with this we can understand. The meaning of this is halt. Processor will stop whenever this binary pattern will enter inside the processor. It will stop working. It will stop there. Right? So these are the binary patterns. So now let us assume we want these operations. First we want to bring a number 39H in A register. Then we want to bring another number 42H in B register. Then after bringing these two numbers 39H in A and 42H in B, we will perform the addition of A and B. So next we want to perform A plus B operation. And after performing this operation, result will be stored in A. Result will be stored in A. And next we want to stop. We want to stop. So these are the operations which have to be performed by this processor. So to perform these operations, we have to give instruction to the processor that first you bring this number in A register. For that what we have to do? We have to write the instruction M V I A comma 39 H. So wherever this instruction will be executed by the processor, then what it will do? It will bring 39 H in A register. The next instruction is after bringing 39 H in A, 42 H in B. M V I B comma 42 H. Now 42 H will whenever this instruction will be executed by the processor, it will bring 42 H in B. Then you have to add these numbers A and B. For adding A and B, the mnemonic is add A comma B. So we will write instruction add A comma B. After adding the these two results. So whenever this instruction will be executed by the processor, then it will add the content of A, which is now 39, which will add the content of B, which is 42. It will add these two content and finally whatever is the result, that result will again be stored in A itself. And in the last we will write HLT. Hold. It will stop the program. So on paper we have written this program but in actual this program must reside inside this ROM, inside this memory. So inside this memory we cannot write here MVIA because inside the memory we have to write a binary number. Right? So now let us assume this is our memory. The starting address of this memory is 0000H and the last address is f f f f x. Now let us assume we will store our program from the memory location 0000 h. Our first instruction will be at location 0000 h. So I will write here location memory location memory location. 0, 0, 0, 0, H. This is first memory location. 
Now at this location we will write our first instruction. What is our first instruction? MVI A comma 39H. Now we know that at one location we can store only 8 bit value. So at one location we can store only 8 bit data. Only 8 bit data can be stored at one location. Now for MVI A, what is the bit pattern? For MVI A, the bit pattern is 1110-1111. So this pattern has to be stored at location number location number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 H. Okay. So uh, for the simplicity, I, I will write here a hexadecimal equivalent of this binary pattern. But ultimately you just understand that hexadecimal binary pattern means actually here we have stored a binary number. So for MVI A, this is the binary pattern. So I will write the hexadecimal pattern EF. So here we will have to store EFH. So X indicates hexadecimal number. Now after this, the next memory location is 0001, this. So here we have stored uh, uh, EFX and the meaning of this is MVIA. Okay. Now at the next memory location 0001H. At this next location we have to load this data which we want to load in A register. So here we have to load 39H. So at this location we are adding 39H which is basically our data, data 1. Now come to next location 0002. At 00, so this work has been done. To perform this task, processor requires two memory locations. Because at first memory location, it is having the opcode. Opcode means what exactly processor is expected to do. When it will receive EF, this binary button, that processor is expected to do it to bring some 8 bit number in A register. So this is the opcode here. And the data will be at next memory location. So now the next instruction MVIB, comma 42H. For this we require this location 0002H. So at location 0002H, at this location we are having the opcode MVI, MVIB. So for MVIB, what is the bit pattern? For MVIB, bit pattern is 1110-1110. In answer this one it is EE. So I will write this EE at 0002. EEH. Now at next location 0003. So here we are having EEH. The meaning is MVIP. Something has to be loaded in B. And what is that something? That something is stored in next memory location. So next location is 0003H. At this location we are having that something. Or 42H, which is the data. So here I will note 42H, which is our data 2. So data 2 is 42H at memory location 0003H. Now after this, next instruction is add A comma B. So add A comma B has to be loaded at location 0004. So 0004 H location. At this location we have to uh, load the uh, binary pattern for add A comma B. For add A comma B the binary pattern is 1000 which is 8F in hexadecimal. So I will write 8F in hexadecimal. 8F in hexadecimal here. So here this is 8F H, the meaning is add A plus B. So after performing this operation, the next, next memory location is 0005 H. So here you have to write the binary pattern for halt, HLD. And binary pattern for halt is 
this. One, 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 one. So here we have F, F, H. Hold it. Uh, F, F, H. This one. Okay. So in this way, you have, we have to, we have to load our program in the memory. So ultimately, basically what we are doing, we are writing our program in assembly language. So this type of program is assembly language. Assembly language program. Right? So uh, for the ease of a programmer, the designer of this processor, they have designed some mnemonics. So now we can, so writing a program in MVI a comma this, MVI B comma this, add A comma B is easy. Otherwise, if you write the same program in machine language, then how you have to write? MVI A, MVI A, MVI A means this, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the meaning of MVI A. Then you have to write this, 3, 9, 3, 9 means 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then E, 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 E means MVI B, MVI B means one 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 zero one 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 zero that you have to write here then four two so in binary if you write the program then it will take time it is a time consuming process and second always there is a chance of error because when we are writing these many binary uh, one and zero then maybe for this zero by error we will write one and if we change this binary pattern then the meaning of that will become different right so we have to write our program in this way with the help of assembly language program with the help of mnemonic but finally at the memory in the memory we have to store the binary pattern only for that what we have to do after writing this program we have to use a software called as assembler right so what assembler will do it will convert these binary this uh, assembly language program into machine language right so input to this assembler is assembly language program so assembly language program will be given as an input to the assembler and assembler will generate machine language program and this machine language program will be loaded in this ROM. So in ROM, here binary pattern, all at each location, the binary pattern will be loaded. And that binary pattern will be generated by this assembler. So now it is easy for us to write a program in assembly language. So it is easy to understand as compared to the machine language. Okay, so now we come to this particular task. We have loaded this program in the memory. Now, how this task, addition of two numbers, addition of 39 and 42 will be done. For that, now what we, what, what, what we have to do? To this program counter, what this register will do? It points the memory location from where this processor will fetch the data. Right? So basically to execute a instruction, so this is one instruction, this is second instruction, this is third instruction, this is fourth instruction. What is the meaning of instruction? It indicates the processor what has to be done. So this instruction indicates that something has to be moved in A. Something has to be moved in B. This add the content of A with content of B. This Stop. So these are the instructions. So now program counter will point that memory location which has to be fetched. To execute an instruction, to execute an instruction, a processor will perform three operations. Right? First operation, it will fetch. It will fetch the code. It will take the take out the code from the memory. That is the first operation. Then 
next operation is it will decode it will decode the code so whatever thing it will fetch it will go inside your decoder first right that decoder will decode it means it will it will come to know what exactly processor has to has to do so after decoding the third thing is execution So basically processor to perform one operation it will do three things first it will fetch the code next it will decode the code and third it will execute the code and once these three things has been done then it will fetch the next code it will execute it will decode the next code and it will execute the next code these things will be done then it will again fetch the next code execute the next code decode the next code and execute the next code so basically processor is doing three things only it will fetch the code decode the code execute the code fetch the code decode the code execute the code so now first of all we have to inform this processor where exactly we have loaded first instruction of our program so the see in this memory in this memory the addresses are from 0000x to f f f f h so out of these 65536 locations exactly at which location our first instruction is loaded that we have to first inform so what we have to do we have to we have to load that memory address in program counter where we have loaded our first first instruction so in this example we have loaded our first instruction at memory location 0000h so first we have to set this pc as 0000h that this we have to do now now when we execute this particular program pc is already having this value 0000h so this is the address of our first instruction this address is now available over these address lines address lines are 16 bit so this is a 16 bit address these 16 bit address will be attached to this rom so inside the rom there is a decoder unit that decoder unit just by receiving this 0000h it will come to know that processor is going to access memory location number 0 whose address is 0000x so what it will do it will it will activate this memory it will activate this memory now just after receiving this address once this memory location is activated cs is already connected to ground right and this timing and control unit it will generate zero at it will generate zero at read bar signal so this this read bar is connected to the read bar of this memory so here you are having zero so once this is zero chip select is zero and address is decoded so this memory location will be activated the content of this memory location what is the content of this memory location ef ef means 1111 1101 so this is the content at this location so this 8 bit value this is a 8 bit value this 8 bit value will be available over 8 data lines of this memory and this 8 data lines of the memory is connected to 8 data lines of the microprocessor and this value ef will enter inside this processor inside this processor and first it will go to decoder section here yes, it will go to decoder section then decoder will so now fetch operation has been completed so once the fetch of fetch operation has been completed means this value ef has been entered inside this processor in the decoder section now the second operation that is decoding will be done so this decoder will decode the meaning of this so immediately this decoder will decode that something has to be moved in A. and that something is stored in next memory location right so now automatically internally the value of pc will increased by 
and it will become now 0 0 0 1 h so this value initial value will be removed and the value of ec will become 0 0 0 1 now 0 0 0 1 is available over the address line so now this memory location will be activated cs is already 0 read wall will again 0 timing and control unit will generate 0 so due to this now 3 9 because now the address is 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1 means this memory will be activated now. This content which is your first data, 39H, it is available over the 8 data lines and through this data line it will enter inside the processor and it will go to register A only. So here 39H will be stored. Because the meaning of this EF Meaning of this means whatever next data will come, it will go in A only. So it will not go in B, C and D because only A register will be activated. B, C, D will be deactivated. So it will come here. After this, now execution of first instruction is completed. This is completed. Now PC will again incremented by 1. So it will become now 0, 0, 0, 2H. This is 0, 0, 2H. Now this address is available over the data line. Due to this, this location will be activated and here we have stored EE. EE means the meaning of EE here is MVIB. So something has to be moved in B. So this EE is available over the data line. It will enter in the processor. It will go to the decoder. And decoder will decode the meaning of this EE. The meaning is something has to be loaded in B and that something will come in next cycle. So now after this, this PC is again incremented by 1. So now this will become 0003H. Now 0003H address is available here. 003H means this location is activated. At this location, whatever is the data that is 42H is available over the data line. It will enter inside the processor and now this time it will go to register B only. That register B, we are having 42 H. So this instruction also executed. After this, again PC will be incremented by 1, 0, 0, 0, 4. So PC is always incremented by 1. So after this, 0, 0, 0, 4. This address is available over the address line. Due to this, 0, 0, 0, 4. This memory location will be activated. The content here is 8 F. The meaning of 8 F is this binary pattern. The meaning is add A and B. So now 8F is available over the data line. It will enter inside the processor. It will go to the decoder. Decoder will decode this. Then immediately decoder will come to know I have to add the content of A and B. Then what it will do? It will send this value 39H here. So here 39H will come 42. From here 42H will come and adder section inside this ALU will be activated and it will add these two numbers 4, 2 and 3, 9. 4, 2 and 3, 9 means 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0 and 2 means 0, 0, 1, 1. This will be added with 3, 9. 3 means 0, 0, 1, 1, 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. So these numbers will be added inside by the adder section. So the result is 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the result. So this result will be generated here. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. In hexadecimal, if we write, then this is 7 and this is uh, A, B, C. This is C. So 7C, this, this is the result. So after the addition, this, will, this result will be generated. And this result will be again stored in A register. Because what is the meaning of add A comma B? It will add the value of A with value of B and final result will be stored in A only. So here what was the previous value? That will be overwritten by this value 7CH. So now this instruction has been completed, executed, numbers, will be, uh, numbers have been added and final result is stored in A. After this, again PC will be incremented by 1. So now it is 0, 0, 0, 5H. This address is available over the data line. 
due to this, this location 0005H will be activated FF will enter inside the decoder inside the processor via these data lines and it will be decoded and when it will decode this then it will come to know processor will come to know the meaning of FF is halt it will stop the processor now processor will stop so work will be completed so in this way the processor will execute the instructions right and uh, one thing processor is a sequential machine the meaning of sequential machine is it execute the instruction one after other because just now I told you first it will send this address then it will go to this address then it will go to this address in this way it will go in sequentially so processor in itself is a sequential machine so in this uh, lecture we just discussed how to add two numbers right and for that we have written one program in uh, assembly language and finally that assembly language program has to be converted in uh, uh, machine language and that machine language uh, program has to be loaded in these memory locations right so in this way we have to uh, uh, this processor will execute this particular instruction